Montgomery, post 228, going against Ashland, post 77. For the visitors from Somerset, post 228, leading off and playing center field, number 21, Matt Shea. Batting second, the second baseman, number two, Chase Stafford. Batting third, the left fielder, number five, Devin Machado. Batting fourth, the first baseman, number 11, Will Tebow. Batting fifth, the third baseman, number nine, Dylan Tibetot. Batting sixth, the catcher, number 22, Devin Ventura. Batting seventh, the shortstop, number three, Nate Ladera. Batting eighth, the designated hitter, number 15, Danny Silva. And batting ninth, the right fielder, number four, Grady Lamar. Pitching for Somerset today is number seven, Lucas Souza, the coach. Of the Somerset Post is Jake Venata. His assistant coaches are Dennis Almeida, Randy Cordero, and Chris Duarte. For the home team, Post 77 Ashland. Leading off and playing left field, number 26, Kevin Bailowitz. Batting second and playing center field, number 14, Brandon Grover. Batting third and playing shortstop, number five, Jackson Hornum. Batting fourth and playing third base, number 22, Dominic Kavanaugh. Batting fifth, the catcher, number 15, Sean Jewett. Batting sixth and pitching, number two, Cole Glassburn. Batting seventh and playing second base, number 34, Alex Amalfi. Batting eighth and playing first base. Number eight, uh, number four, excuse me. Drew Rancatori. And batting ninth and playing right field, number 19, Nick Calabrese. The coaches for Ashman Post 77 are Jake Obey. Assistant coaches, Sean Babineau, Andrew Kine, Michael Messier, Nicholas Moscaratolo, and Dylan O'Leary. And now we would ask all umpires, players, and coaches to please rise, and we will recite the American Legion Baseball Code of Sportsmanship. Say I don't fall. All right, gentlemen, please repeat after me. American Legion player and coaches are official. I will keep the rules. Keep faith with my teammates. Keep my temper. Keep myself fit. Keep the style hard to compete. Keep my pride under control of victory. Keep the sound soul, clean mind, and help the voice. And now, I don't touch it with the plan of the action.
And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fino Field for day three of the 2019 Senior Legion State Tournament. Today, it is Somerset Post 228 taking on Ashland Post 77. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. Cameron Tabo on camera. And it is certainly a hot one out there. Temperatures in the high 80s. Expected to maybe even get into the low 90s. But these two teams ready to play here today. This is an elimination game, so the loser will be done for the season. The winner will play on here in the state tournament into tomorrow. And the two other games going on today, you got Shrewsbury and Milford, and then you also have Lawrence and Sandwich, who are the only two left undefeated teams in the tournament. The pitcher today for the home team, Ashland Post 77, is Cole Glassburn. Let's take a look at the Somerset lineup. Leading things off is the center fielder, Matt Shea. Chase Stiffer, the second baseman, hitting second. Devin Machado, the left fielder, hitting third. Will Tebow, the first baseman, hitting cleanup. Dylan Tibitot, the third baseman, hitting fifth. Devin Ventura, the catcher, hitting sixth. Nate Ladera, the shortstop, hitting seventh. Danny Silva, the DH hitting eighth, and Grady Lamar, the right fielder, hitting ninth. And now with the post-77 defense, here is Larry Sacklin. Good afternoon, Tom. Wipe your brow. Playing third base, Dominic Cavanaugh. Jackson Horning at short. Alex Amalfi playing second today. Drew Rancatori at first. Kevin Balowitz at left. Brandon Grover in center. Nick Calabresi in right field. Sean Jewett behind the plate. Catching my favorite player, Cole Glassburn. And there you have it, the post-77 Defense for today, Cole Glassburn getting the start, Larry, and he's been terrific lately, mostly in relief work. He hasn't had a whole lot of starts this season, but he has been great on the mound as of late for post-77. His last two outings have been absolutely clutch. He's been using that breaking ball. Uh, he threw nine or ten pitches in the Natick game, picking up for uh, Gustafson. He threw maybe nine or ten pitches, seven of them or six or seven were curveballs. He's got confidence in it. He's going to pitch when he needs to pitch and not rush today. And um, I think he's going to be a tough customer for Somerset. He certainly should be. Cole Glassburn on the season. He has pitched 16 and two-thirds of an inning. Two wins. He also has a save and a 168 ERA. That's pretty nice. It certainly is. Matt Shea will step in to start things off for Somerset post-228. Somerset is 13 and 4 heading into the state tournament. They are 14 and 5 overall. They got bounced by Lawrence, which is no shame in that. Certainly not. That Lawrence team looks good. First pitch is a strike. Now an outside. Little history lesson for those who were with us two years ago. Uh, Somerset and post-77 faced off, and it was a 16 to nothing mercy by Ashland in five innings. This is fouled away. On a day very much like this one, blazing, smoking hot. Yes, that is very true. Hopefully we'll be out in five innings. That would be nice, but different team this year for Somerset, so we'll have to see. As this is hit in the air over to left field, foul territory, and that will land foul. Count remains one and two. Shea just stuck his bat out there and almost had it land fair. Post 77 is 19 and four overall after falling to Sandwich in a two to one pitcher's duel yesterday. Wind up and the pitch, and this is fouled off. We should probably welcome in all our viewers. They're sitting in nice office buildings downtown, nice air conditioning. That's right. I've got one viewer on uh, the Bay and Kenny Bunkport. And this is up the left side. That's going to trickle into left field. Lead off single for Matt Shea. He sent me a picture of him on his boat. Oh. Which is not a very nice thing to do. <laughs> but we have viewers from coast to coast, I'm sure, today. That's right. It's a big one. Chase Stifford will step in. A 
make it Stafford. But no harm, no foul here. And that one nearly got away from Jewett, but he's able to keep it in front of him. Somerset only has six teams in their zone. That is true. Not a whole lot of competition. Their playoffs are just a best of three series between the top two teams. Somerset was actually second during the season, but they swept in the best of three series. I mean, you got two huge cities, New Bedford and Fall River. You'd think they'd have more than one. Somerset took down South Attleboro in the Zone 9 championship. Lined up and the pitch. Some good movement there, but not enough to get into the strike zone. Two and oh. One of Cole's strengths is his deception. And this is hit in the air over to left field. Caught. And the runner will head back to first. One away. That'll bring up Devin Machado. Devin Machado. Was Shea taken off on that pitch, or he's just that fast? Uh, he's, well, he's the leadoff guy, so I'd imagine he has some speed. Checking at first, runner back safe. Devin Machado out of Somerset Berkeley High School, set to graduate in 2021. Berkeley's a nice little town. They got a general store right in the center. Inside. A few returning players from 2017, Tibetot and Tebow. Wind up and the pitch. Up the left side, gloved by Kavanaugh. Throw to first, not a problem. The runner does advance to second. Shea over at second base. Five to three for out number two. Number that'll, bring automatic. Up, that'll bring up Will Tebow. The vacuum cleaner down at third base, Tom Kavanaugh. Glassburn working from the stretch. Here's a strike. This is off-speed stuff. He'll show many different release points. Got a better than average fastball. This is hit high in the air, left side, and it's caught by Hornung for the third out of the inning. So we will move on to the bottom of the first. We are scoreless at Fino Field on the Ashen Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the first inning, we are scoreless between Somerset and Ashland Post 77. On the mound for Somerset is Lucas Souza. Let's take a look at the lineup he will be facing. For Post 77 leading off, it's the left fielder Kevin Balowitz, the center fielder Brendan Grover batting second. Shortstop Jackson Hornung hitting third. Dom Cavanaugh is clean up today playing third base. Sean Jewett, the catcher, hitting fifth. Cole Glasper, the pitcher, hitting sixth. Alex Amalfi, the second baseman, hitting seventh. Drew Rancatori, the first baseman, hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. With the Somerset post, 228 defense. Here is Larry Sacklad. Dylan Tibetot. Get that right, Tom. Dylan Tibetot. Playing third base. Nate Ladera at short. Chase Stafford at second base. Will Tebow. No relation. Devin Machado in left. Matt Shea in center. Grady Lamassi in right. Lucas Souza on the mound, caught by Danny Ventura. Devin Ventura, pardon me. It's the heat, Tom. It's the heat. <laughs> and there you have it, the post-228 defense. You're tuned in to Ashland Legion Baseball on either HCAM in Hopkinton, WACA-TV in Ashland, or HCAT in Holliston. We are the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. As Kevin Balowitz set to step in, he went one for three yesterday in the loss to sandwich. He's hit the ball well through the last few games. Against Shrewsbury, he had a huge RBI double and also scored after being hit by a pitch. 
So he has been very reliable in the state tournament for post 77. Balowitz was at a 353 heading into yesterday. Souza is set to deal. First pitch is a strike. Oh, and one. If that was his heater, it's going to be a long day. That is outside. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Held his swing, took ball two. Not only has Balowitz been put in the lineup for his hitting, but also for his defense. For those that want to go into the YouTube archive and watch the Lowell clinching game. There's a strike. So just to play out some scenarios, if Ashland wins here today, their possible opponents are Lawrence or Milford. They try not to have two teams play each other multiple times if they can. Of course, a lot of that will depend on what happens in the games tonight. Milford and Shrewsbury also playing an elimination game. That's following this one. Wind up and the pitch, breaking pitch outside, full count. Yeah, Milford and uh, Shrewsbury definitely don't like each other. That's going to be a Texas death match tonight at 5 p.m. if you can make it. I saw a great stat from the Milford Legion broadcaster, Tim Coet. Uh, they have split the last 18 games with Shrewsbury. Milford has 1-9, Shrewsbury has 1-9. As Balowitz goes down looking, one away. Brandon Grover will step in. Well, Glassburn did not have to throw a lot of pitches in the first inning, only threw 14. Wind up in the pitch. Of course, the limit is 105 for state tournament play. Suze is set to deal. This is hit high in the air over to center field, and it is caught. Two away. Jackson Horning, the shortstop, will step in. We're getting a lot of hits, Tom. Getting texts from all over the place. Got a text from the Massachusetts Turnpike. Not going the speed limit, by the way. <laughs> Wind up in the pitch outside. Well, yesterday we talked about patience at the plate. Not swinging at the first pitch, work the pitch count. Seems to be what they're doing so far. There's a strike. One and one. Horning, as per the usual, has hit the ball very well in this state tournament. And he'll get a piece of this one into right field it goes. That's a fair ball. Hornung around first, heading over to second. The throw in is not in time. It's a stand-up double for Jackson Hornung. He just continues to crush the baseball. He went one for three yesterday. When he hits it, it's usually hard. He rarely misses. For those, for those of you that didn't tune in yesterday, the dimensions here at Fino Field are... 375 down the right field line, 346 to the left field line, 416 to left center. Hornung's now hitting a 500 in state tournament play, four for eight. As Kavanaugh gets a piece of this one, but it's foul. 432 to right center, and if you can do it, 520 feet to dead center. Did you do that, Larry? Back in the day. 
Back in your prime, right? <laughs> Back in the time, can of spinach, piece of cake. Souza looks at second, takes a long look at second, and deals. Breaking pitch, and there for a called strike. Horning on second, two outs. Scoreless game so far in the bottom of the first. Wind up and the pitch. Horning taking off. The throw to third is going to be dropped. He's safe. And he's lucky, and he looks like he uh, hurt himself down there. Ball was there in time. I don't know about having Horning steal like that and putting him in risk. Lost Ben Fink uh, on a diving ground ball to Torn Labrum. I don't know where he got hit exactly, but he's clearly in a little bit of pain. Well, he's the captain of the football team. I think he can take, he could take his lumps. And I think he was the hockey captain too, so he could take a check. Certainly was. And he is back up and over at third base. And he miscued by the catcher, Jackson Corning's going to take take off for the play. Corning plate. has a clear limp as he was stepping down the line a little bit. Uh oh, maybe he won't uh, go on a pass ball. Ooh. Wind up in the pitch. This is hit high in the air, left side foul. Dominic Kavanaugh had a play like that the other day. They said he had one foot in and one foot out over some some line down there, and he didn't get he didn't get the hitter. Wind up in the pitch, and this is hit high in the air, left side, and it is foul territory and caught. So that is the third out of the inning. We'll head to the top of the second. We're scoreless on the Ashland Leisure Baseball Network. Top of the second inning, five, six, and seven due up for Somerset. Dylan Tibetot, the third baseman, to start things off, followed by Devin Ventura and Nate Ladera. Scoreless game between Ashland and Somerset as we head into the top of the second inning. I believe the last time these two teams played a couple of years ago, there was a whole lot of post-77 scoring in the first inning. Uh, well, it only lasted five innings, so they had to spread out 16 runs somehow. Today, the goose egg. Wind up in the pitch. Outside. 1-0 and oh on Tibetot. Down low. Just so you know, I'm talking out of school here. Cole and I had a uh, marathon tech session last night. He was trying to get pumped for the game. There's a strike. Usually he's a quick worker. Catch it, throw it. The 2 1. Inside. 3 and 1. Somerset started off the first inning with a hit, and then it was three straight outs. There's a strike. Full count. And Cole will do what's called quick pitch. And this is hit high in the air. Left side, Jewett going for it, and he's not able to make the catch. Nearly had it. Good effort, however.
quick pitch is just a step to the plate and throw. There's no sort of wind-up involved. It's used to surprise the hitter. Full count pitch. Foul. We'll have another payoff. Right down the middle, out number one. Grab the pine, take a seat. Devin Ventura will step in. It's gonna take uh, Somerset, I think, a couple of innings to figure out uh, any type of pattern that Cole may display today. Wind up and the pitch outside. The doctor of deception. I know you about you, Tom, but it's really hot in here. <laughs> the 1 0. Down low. I did see a fan lying around. Yeah. What? A Barbie and Ken fan? 2-0 pitch. Outside, three straight balls. He's been working from behind hitters. First pitch strikes will be the cure for Cole Glassburn. Lined up and the pitch. There's a walk. Four pitch walk, one on with one out. That'll bring up Nate Ladera, the shortstop. Number three. Nate <sighs> Owen Ward threw a great game yesterday for post-77. Unfortunately, they came up short against Sandwich. Inside. Nice job by Jewett keeping it in front, and he wants a word with Cole. What do you think he's going to talk about? Throw strikes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Throw some strikes. You're at the bottom part of the order, just throw strikes. Will you? It's going to make me work too hard. I got all the tools of ignorance on me. <laughs> Catchers don't get enough credit wearing all that gear. Oh, they certainly don't. I think Matt is worth it's all black. Inside. Two and oh. Went with a kind of a sidearm motion there. Yeah. That's fouled away. Two and one. That's why he's fun to watch. Two base umpires and a home plate umpire today in all games for the uh, tournament rather than the standard two. And this is hit high in the air, left side, and it is caught. Two away. Balowicz is there. That'll bring up Danny Silva, the DH. Number 15, Danny Silva. See if Cole can make quick work of Silva so I can uh, eat the, one of those... Things that come in a yellow bag that have salt on them are kind of tasty, <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> so I'm losing it. There's a strike. Yeah, you didn't have your lunch today, did you? No, I didn't. I thought Bunny was going to cook me lunch, but no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'd resort to a bag of blank potato chips. The 0 1, and this is hit high in the air, left side. Balowitz tracking it down and catches it. For the third out of the inning to the bottom of the second, we go. We are scoreless on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the second inning, 5, 6, and 7 due up for post 77. Sean Jewett, Cole Glasper, and Alex Amalfi. We are scoreless so far at Fino Field. Lucas Souza 
the pitcher for Somerset. Through 16 pitches in the first inning, Glass burns up to 32. There's a ball. Are IV drips in the H cam budget? <laughs> Not quite sure. Well, you've got it to end with the treasure. Outside. Very quiet and subdued crowd here. There's the 2 0. There's a strike. The best spot is down the right field line, diagonal, diagonal with first base. A lot of shade down there. Outside. Jack so a, you jerked that pitch or yanked it, whatever term you want to use. Jackson Horning had a double in the first inning and stole third. That was the only offense so far for post 77. There's ball four. Gla uh, Jewett will take first base. Cole Glassburn will step in. Saw so Brendan Kelly pitch last night for the last time ever. It was kind of bittersweet. I knew him. He was 10 years old. Oh, well, Milford could get to the regionals, you know. Yeah, but he can't pitch. Oh, really? Yeah. I was starting to get welled up and sentimental, and I took off. And this is hit in the air, left side, and it is caught. Jewett will head back to first, one away. Alex Amalfi will step in. Number 34, Alex Amalfi. Amalfi's been struggling a bit with the bat, went 0 for 3 yesterday. He did have that key blooper down the right field line against Shrewsbury, though. Yep, went 1 for 3 against Shrewsbury with a single in the sixth and scored one of the four runs in that inning. Line up and the pitch. Fouled away. He said in the newspaper he's just not feeling it. He's not relaxed up at the plate. But the Shrewsbury game, he got up there. It was kind of a pressure situation. I mean, you're down three to two. He just relaxed and put the bat on the ball, and he plunked it down the right field line. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Oh, and two. Alex played an excellent game at first base yesterday. Slight lead for Jewett at first. One on, one out. Outside. Yeah, I don't think Sean Jewett's washed his baseball pants all year. Well, that... Is a superstition thing for a lot of guys. Yeah. I hear he throws it in the corner and they stand up. <laughs> <laughs> the one two down low. <laughs> it's the heat. It's the heat. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Ooh, did you feel that? Nice little breeze coming in. Yeah. Here's the 2 2. Outside, full count. So this is very deliberate. The opposite of Glassburn. I'm going to clock him just for the heck of it. Payoff pitch. Jewett taking off, and it's ball four. Two on, one out. Drew Rankatori will step in. I'll take care of that in between innings. <laughs> it's, for those of you at home, it's Drew Rankatori. Like Cacciatori. Both runners with a slight lead. Inside. Nice piece of real estate for Drew in uh, the gap in right center. Lots and lots and lots of room. Two on, one out. 
Wind up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one up the right side. Grab by the second baseman. Throw to second for one. Throw to first. And I think they called him out. No, safe. Oh, safe. All right. Four to six. It's always safe for the home team. Drew it up to third. Rankatori reaches on the four to six force out. So Malfi was thrown out. Four out number two. Nick Calabrese steps in. The right fielder. Runner taking off from first. Throw to second is off the mark. Stolen base for Amalfi. Well, the ball was thrown through. Jewett didn't take off. He wasn't biting on that, but that's the play that they've worked on. Well, that's why I think the... Uh, Shortstop ran in front of the second base bag, getting ready to throw home. That is correct. That's the play. Outside. Oh, we already hear some squawking about the umpires. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, so far so good on the None of that, zone. none of that. Calabrese went 0 for 2 yesterday with a walk and scored the only post-77 run. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. Called strike. It's about 13 and a half seconds from the time the catcher gets the ball back to uh, Silva. Souza. Excuse me, Silva. Souza. Very popular name down in Somerset's neck of the woods. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Count remains one and two. The great color man for the Boston Red Sox, Jerry Remy, is from Somerset. Did you know that, Tom? I didn't. Aren't you glad I came today? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know what I'd do without you, uh, Larry. He was a standout down in Somerset. Drafted by the California Angels. Traded to the Boston Red Sox. Now he's affectionately known as the Rem Dog. Wind up and the pitch. This is up the left side foul. Calabrese continues to battle. Lots of lefties are going down the left field line. I wonder what uh, Sousa's got that's causing the late swings. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one. Slow roller picked up by the shortstop. Throw to first. In time. Bang. Six to three for out number three. And that was just in time. And we are scoreless as we head to the top of the third on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Lucas Souza has underset. The right fielder, number four, Brady. Lamar. Top of the third inning, 9-1 and 2 due up for Somerset. Grady Lamar, Matt Shea, and Chase Stafford. Cole Glassburn has worked two innings so far, throwing 32 pitches. And he has given up one hit and a walk. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. One and oh. Glassburn deals. This is up the right side. Into right field it goes. Lead off single. Calabrese charged that ball. It was going to come up firing. Rancatori wasn't prepared to receive the throw. That was a seeing eye single, just like in the first inning. That'll bring up Matt Shea. Yeah, he went four hole there. And this is foul. Did you know the more people that occupy this press box, the hotter it gets? Did you know that? I did. We got some people in here. Uh, 
more media than. Oh. Matt Shea graduated Somerset Berkeley High School in 2018. There's a bunt up the left side. Glassburn picks it up, throws the first. Got him. What a throw by Glassburn. One to three. From his knees, that's really an athletic play. His college coach is going to like to see that. And I'll bring up Chase Stafford. Number two, Chase Stafford. The incoming Cardinal at Catholic University. I, don't, I hear they don't have a very good baseball program, though. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Glassburn. Big lead at second for Lamar. This is hit in the air. Could be trouble. Right center, a dive. And was that a catch? Yes, it was. And it is. What a catch that was by Brandon Grover. Lamar does advance to third. Two away. That'll bring up Devin Machado, the left fielder. Brandon Grover with another tremendous diving catch. Um, Cole studying architecture. I gave him some tutoring. It's a little bit of my work there. Ah, very nice. <laughs> Based on that drawing, I think you should listen to you guys. This is hit in the air over to left center, and that is going to be caught. A nice catch by Kevin Balowitz, who, as he made the catch, was a little bit off balance, but able to hang on to it. And we will head to the bottom of the third. We are scoreless on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the order for Ashland Post 77, Kevin Balowitz, Brandon Grover, Jackson Hornung. Scoreless here in the bottom of the third. A couple of tremendous defensive plays by post-77 outfielders helped them get out of last inning unharmed. That one's fouled away. Right back at it, swinging at the first pitch. Brandon Grover had a great catch. Kevin Balowitz as well. This kid must throw in the mid-70s. I don't think he can touch 80 miles an hour. Line up and the pitch outside. I mean, that's not a knock on the kid. I mean, he's, you know, obviously playing Legion ball, but Ashley should put a, put some hits together and get some runs scored. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And this is hit high in the air, foul territory, and it's caught. <laughs> one away. That'll bring up Brendan Grover. Number 14, Brandon Grover. Well, Post-77 offense certainly has been slow as of late. <sighs> Yesterday, they played one run on six hits. And this is up the right side, grabbed by the second baseman, flipped to first with ease, four to three for out number two. That'll bring up Jackson Horner. Number five, Jackson Horner. Once again, he comes up with two, but two out. Wind up and the pitch outside. You're waiting for a home run over the fence. He'll be waiting a long time. Two and oh. You do not see home runs at this field very, very often. Nope, certainly some very deep dimensions out there. 2-0 pitch, and this is up the left side, picked up by the shortstop, throw to first is high, and Hornung got to the bag, and he's safe. Nice swim move by Jackson Hornung. Certainly was. I think he took that out of uh, his football playbook there. Oh, no, it's a Larry Sacklet School of Base Running. <laughs> Tom Cavanaugh will step in. Hornung just swam by the... 
attempted tag of the first baseman and was able to get to the base. He's clearly not running well, though. Checking out first, Horning back. So Horning reaches on the errant throw. Yeah, Dominic would have to hit a ball a long way to score Jackson Horning. Down low, and Horning's trying to steal the throw to second. Got him. Caught stealing his Horning. And that'll end the third inning. We'll head to the top of the fourth. We're scoreless on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the fourth inning, Will Tebow starting things off for Somerset. We are scoreless here at Fino Field. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad, happy to be with you for Ashland Legion Baseball. Cameron Tebo on camera. Would you like to share a drink of quenching um, fortified water? I'm good, thank you. Okay. Oh, and one is the count. There's another strike. Oh, and two. A quick one, two, three inning would be very nice for Mr. Glassburn. Up high. The one, two. Up the left side, fair ball, picked up by Kavanaugh, throw to first, no problem. Five to three for out number one. That'll bring up Dylan Tibitot, the third baseman. Tebow, no speed merchant, so Dominic had plenty of time. Line up and the pitch. Outside. The 1-0. Swing and a miss. One and one. That one outside, two and one. There's a strike, two and two. Well, it looks like another pitcher's duel so far today. Cole Glass burn up against Lucas Souza. Well. Swing and a miss, so number two. I call them snooze fests. Somebody spreading sleepy dust around the last couple games. Ashland did it to Shrewsbury, lulled them asleep, and put them away. Devin Ventura, the catcher, steps in. Oh, he's hot up in this booth. I'm sorry. And this is a little trickler up the left side. Picked up by Kavanaugh. Throw to first. No problem. One, two, three. They go in the fourth. We will head to the bottom of the inning. We are scoreless on the Ashton Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fourth inning. Dom Kavanaugh set to lead things off for post 77. Four, five, and six do up. Still scoreless here at Fino Field between Ashland post 77 and Somerset post 228. Yeah, Dom was standing at home plate when Jackson Hornung got thrown out to end last inning. There's a ball. The 1 0 inside. Temperature hasn't budged since the start of the game. 88 degrees. It certainly hasn't. A few clouds. Well, there is a pool uh, pretty close to here, Larry. Well, what are you suggesting? If you need to cool down, there you go. 
Yeah, but Tom, it's a kiddie pool. What do you want me to displace all the water? Come on. <laughs> no, they got a full size pool down there. Right. Two and one. Outside. Be nice to uh, get a table setter on Dump. for a change. Yep. Dump Cavanaugh, Sean Jewett, and Cole Glassburn do up. Cavanaugh facing a three and one count. It's got to be some energy from post 77. I don't feel energy. I think once they get a couple hits, the energy might pick up. That oh. hit him. Oof. Oh. That couldn't have felt good. He's all right. Big kid. Kavanaugh will march down to first. Sean Jewett to the plate. Yep. Catcher going to retrieve that baseball. Uh, maybe Coach Obed should sing the uh, energy jingle. E-N-E-R-G-Y. The less you use, the more you save. <laughs> I'm losing my mind up here. I'm <laughs> broiling. Might have to take up the steak. headset from you in a minute. <laughs> Brown eggs are local eggs, and local eggs are fresh. Come on, Sean. Slight lead at first for Kavanaugh. Check in at first. Kavanaugh slides back. Not even close. I don't know whether he decided to do it himself or the catcher pointed his finger to throw over, but he was only a step and a half off. Wind up and the pitch. And that hit. Ouch. Him. Two Ouch. straight hit batters. So two on, no outs, four post 77, and Cole Glassburn will step in. The pitcher, number two, Cole Could Lucas Souza be losing his control? We will see if it's the trifecta, which I've never seen. Might happen in a Hudson game, but certainly not in a state tournament. Well, I don't think it's intentional. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to the Hudson game? There's a strike. Well, that one might have been, but I'm talking about this one. Yeah. Oh, and one on Glassburn. Sousa deals. There's a bunt, and it's a nicely placed bunt. Picked up by Sousa, and he will have no throw. Everybody's safe. Wow. Poor fundamentals by Somerset. Nobody was covering first base, and Barney Rubble ran all the way to 90 feet down the line for a bunt single. No error, bunt single. Bases loaded, no outs. This is what we've been waiting for, a little action, action. Alex Amalfi steps in. And this is up the left side. Love by the third baseman. Throw home for one. They get it. And the throw to first. Hit the runner. And he's going to be safe. And now Rudd's going to try to score. The throw to the plate. And now they have Jewett in a chase down. The catcher trying to track him down. The throw over to third base. They end up doubling him up. Triple play. And now a triple play. Are you kidding me? I kid you not. A triple play to get out of the inning. Bad base running. Horrible. Really bad base running. We'll head to the top of the fifth. We're scoreless on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. Oh, wow. Three, Nate top of the fifth inning, still scoreless after a triple play. Gets Somerset out of the last inning. It was bases loaded, no outs. And then Alex Amalfi hit a grounder. Kavanaugh was thrown out trying to go home. And then a throw up to third got Jewett. And then they ended up getting Glassburn as well. It was a couple of pickles. Foul back. Bases loaded, no out. It looked like a T ball team. Honest to God, Tom. It certainly did. It's not what you can it's not what you want to do at this level. I, I don't I, I don't know if you have to edit this out so they don't see it or oh, know, and send it one. in to Jimmy Kimmel or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Well, just being honest about it, Larry. Yeah, rundowns. One and one. Well, I mean, they've been struggling offensively all last game and throughout this game. And now you get a bases loaded opportunity, no outs, and that's what you do. Devastating. Two and one. I don't know, 
but it's getting hotter, if that's possible. Here's the 2-1, fouled away. I told Cole last night, you know, not, not the whole game is not on you. you got seven guys behind you. You have one guy in front of you. Just pitch your game and you'll do fine. So far, he's heeded my advice. He's got some help from his defense, but not from his base runners. Slightly high. His pitch count is good. And this is up the right side. What a oh. catch by Rankatori. All six, two of them, a snow cone. It's a little white there, Tom. That was an unbelievable catch there by Rankatori. Danny Silva will step in. That would have been over Al Alex Amalfi's head, guaranteed. Outside. So seeing some weird stuff. Certainly have. One oh. Inside. Two and oh. Must be nice sitting in a high rise at one of those mutual fund companies with the temperature about sixty eight. Nice pitch inside corner. Certainly was. Two and one. And this is up the right side. Takes a couple hops. Melfi picks it up. Throw to first. No problem. Four to three. For out number two. That'll bring up Grady Lamar, the right fielder. The right fielder Got the runner. Number four, Grady Lamar. Easily. Could have had a sandwich and thrown that kid out. Nice pitch. Hey, it ticked up a degree. It's 89 now. Oh, boy. Fouled into the backstop. Oh, there's a nice breeze yeah, for you. Thank you. Well, we uh, need to keep an eye on some pop up thunderstorms in the area, Larry. There's a strike. There's some thunderstorms that appear to be heading right towards us here in Milford. Hug me. <laughs> so things could get very interesting here. This is up the right side, picked up by the second baseman, four to three, for out number three, and we will head to the bottom of inning number five. We are scoreless on the Asher Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the fifth inning, eight, nine, and one due up for post 77. Drew Rankatori, Nick Calabrese, and Kevin Balowitz. To face Lucas Souza, who got out uh, of last inning with a triple play. One of the rarest things you'll ever see, as that one is outside. I think that's slipped out of his hand, but I see what you're talking about, about those ominous clouds up there. Yep. Drew Rankatori made an excellent defensive play on the line drive. Up high. We are certainly on the lookout for potential thunderstorms moving in. Any sign of lightning would certainly force a delay. Yep, automatic 15-minute delay. This is hit high in the air to center field, and it is caught. One away. I believe the umpire, uh, there's going to be some bullpen activity for Somerset. I think all he has to do is see it and then put his hands up and call time. It doesn't necessarily have to start raining. Nick Calabrese will step in. Well, I think we got a viewer in from as far away as Brookline, Massachusetts. Wow. Yeah, they got some pretty good delis in Brookline. There's a breaking ball for strike one. Well, post 77 has struggled to hit the past couple of games. They had bases loaded last inning after a pair of hitters. We're hit by a pitch and then a single. As this is up the left side, a great bunt throw to first, and that is not in time. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Push bunt up the third base line. A perfectly placed bunt, 
as we saw from Cole Glasper last inning. And that'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Remember during the season we had viewers from China and France and Spain? Uh, we're international. Oh, yes, we are. We have an international audience. One of our viewers just caught a striped bass up in Maine. Is that the photo? Check in at first. Runner back safe. There is indeed warm-up activity for Somerset. Looks like they're going to have a couple warming up down there. Post 77's bullpen area is clear. Checking at first, runner back safe. Not a real good pickoff move by Souza. It's kind of long. I'll tell you what, though. If you're post 77, no more base running mistakes. <laughs> oh. Well, first-year manager Jake Obed uh, might lose his mind. I don't think that's the way that situation was coached last inning. Oh. He doesn't want to see the uh, replay. I guarantee you that. Can you cut it out? Well, it won't be in the highlights. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Wind up in the pitch. Up the left side. And that's foul. 0 oh and 1 as the clouds continue to look more and more ominous. Well, with all the humidity in the air, of course... <laughs> Pop-up thunderstorms should be expected from time to time. Thanks for your My meteor little meteorological input. Uh, <laughs> input. Yeah. HKM <laughs> Weather Center is going to alert out. That's right. Fouled into the backstop. Swung for the high cheese there. Oh, and two. Ooh. And now a discussion with the pitcher for Somerset. What do you think they're talking about? You tired? That yeah. might be one question the manager might ask. Could be. I'm sure it has something to do with that. How much you got left might be another question. And I'm taking you out of the game might be a statement. And is he hurt? Pretty interesting move here because it's the middle of a hitter. It's an 0-2 count, so that would appear to me that maybe there's perhaps an injury, or they want to save him for next game. But I don't know, he's kind of no, you can't save think, him I for think, next game. I think it was an injury. I think he hurt his hand because he was kind of moving well, his hand. Let Doctor Larry. Around. Let, let me so. give you a diagnosis. <laughs> All right. Heat prostration or heat stroke? Could be. So we'll have a new pitcher for Somerset. In the meantime, we'll take a timeout, and we'll fill you in on who that is. You, we are scoreless in the bottom of the fifth on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Continuing on in the bottom of the fifth, a new pitcher for Somerset, Cole Escobar, in the game to replace Lucas Souza. Souza pitched four and a third. Walked two, hit two batters, gave up three hits, no runs, came out of the game due to an injury. That pitch inside, one and two on Balowitz. Souza had a relatively low pitch count, could have certainly stayed in for probably the remainder of this game, but due to some type of injury, had to come out. And Balowitz gets a piece of this slow roller, picked up by the shortstop, throw to first, and did they get the tag? No! Everybody's safe. The first baseman wasn't on the bag. He thought he got the tag in time, but Balowitz was able to touch first base just prior to being tagged in the back. Calabrese up to second, Balowitz at first, Brandon Grover to the plate. Two on, one out. Now the umpires want to talk about something. That's the second time Tebow's been pulled off the bag on a throw. 
Come on, you got to make some hay here, 77. You know what I mean? That's right. Do it already. We're over 0 for 2 today. It was 1 for 3 yesterday. A pitch outside. If the starting pitcher threw maybe mid-70s, this kid might throw 70. For over a two for seven in the state tournament. Outside. Two and oh. Walks as good as a hit to hit, Tom. Tom. Certainly is. Looks like a line drive in the scorebook. Jackson Horning do up next. Down low. Good block by Ventura. No relation to Robin Ventura. Well, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm Brandon Grover, I... Uh, You're putting my... the bat on your shoulder, closing your eyes. You got Jackson Horn coming up next. That's right. Just cool. close your eyes. There you There's go. There's a strike. Good patience there. These volunteers really work hard to put this tournament together. Fouled away, full count. They certainly do. They're wilting like we are. They do a very nice job. And this is hit high in the air, left side, and it is caught. Two away. I'll bring up Jackson Hornung. Number five, Jackson. Cole Escobar, the pitcher for Somerset out of Joseph Case High School, graduated this year. Five foot eight hundred forty-five pound right hander. Well, if there was ever a time they could use a Jackson Hornung hit. Yes. Just rip it. And therefore called strike. I'm sure look that, that looked like a big, fat watermelon to Jackson. But he's got to be patient. Down low. <laughs> one and one is the count on Hornung. Gets a piece of this one, ripped into left field. That'll get down. Lead runner, Nick Calabrese, being waved around, and he will score. one nothing. post-77, an RBI single for Hornung. Well, golly, a run. I think a lot of post-77 fans are saying about time. Don Cavanaugh will step in. Some of the broadcasts are saying other stuff. One nothing Ashland lead. Cavanaugh gets a piece of this one, hit in the air to center field, and it's caught for the third out of the inning. But post 77 breaks through with a run. It's one nothing Ashland as we head to the top of the six on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. <laughs> top of the order for Somerset, post 228. A one nothing lead for Ashland. They were able to play to run last inning. It was an RBI single by none other than Jackson Hornung to drive in Nick Calabrese. And now Cole Glassburn out there to continue on. He's up to 60 pitches so far. So well below the 105 pitch oh, he's maximum. In good shape. He's in good shape. Certainly is. It'll be a battle of the Coles. C O L E, not C O A L, Tom. Matt Shea steps in. Outside. Shea had a hit his first time up, I think, in the six hole. There's a strike, one and one. So whatever team wins here in this game will either get the 5 or 7.30 p.m. game tomorrow night. This is hit in the air to left field. Caught. One away. 
Cole's got himself into a nice little groove here. He's pitching his game. He's got good tempo. Chase Stafford will step in. Stafford 0 for 2 today. Nice pitch there, 0 and 1. Line up and the pitch. Ooh, way inside. One and one. Lights starting to come on here at Fino Field as yeah. some dark clouds moving over us. Oh, do you hear something? I believe that's actually a motorcycle, Larry. Oh, I thought that. Fouled away. <laughs> I thought it was bowling pins. Off the top of the concession stand, look out. One and two. Now, if the ball fell in the uh, charcoal grill, what would happen? Yeah, you flip it over and put some cheese on it. Yeah. I would have done that yesterday against Sandwich. Wind up and the pitch inside. <laughs> Spun Stafford around again. Starting to get personal. The 2 2. Outside. Full count. And this is ripped up the left side, past the reach of Cavanaugh. Stafford is going to be safe with a one-out single. He likes going after Dom Cavanaugh, apparently. I'll bring up Devin Machado. Glassburn working from the stretch. Swing and a miss. That ball just disappeared. Nice, nice pitch. This field will drain really well. They got tarps for home plate, tarps for the pitcher's mound. The 0-1. Up the left side, and that'll trickle into left field. It's going to be two on with one out. Well, this is the biggest threat that Somerset has had so far in this game as Will Tebow, the cleanup man, will step in. Somerset fans are starting to get vocal. Haven't had much to cheer about so far. Two on, one out. Wind up in the pitch. Hit high in the air, right side, foul territory, and out of play. And rain is falling. Oh, no. There's some rain falling. Sky is getting more and more dark. Rain starting to fall. And this is hit in the air over to right field, and this is going to be all kinds of trouble. One run is going to score. Is another run? No. We're tied up at one. An RBI single for Will Tebow. Tebow just inside out at that one. Machado makes it all the way to third. Coach Obid going to make a visit. Yes, I see an umbrella. And we'll see if uh, Glassburn stays in the game on the mound. They gotta decide what they're gonna do with the runner. He doesn't look like he's particularly swift. Still so only one out in the inning. Yeah, they're gonna throw through and try and get the runner and risk the runner from third coming home. I don't know. I can't imagine the leash with Glassburn is too long at this point. Well, who do you propose they throw? We might just have to go to Kavanaugh. Oh, that's right. Or maybe Fink. No. To on labor. No. I oh, don't. that's right. Never mind. Well, I, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but. Drew Rancatori playing in. Going to throw to the plate. Outside. One zero. Fouled away. Had a good hack at that. A one-to-one -one ball game here in the top of the sixth. 
It appears that the rain that we saw falling has stopped for the moment. Swing and a miss. And it looks like they're sending someone out to warm up. Who do you see? Who do you see? An Andrew Sternick? Louis Dennison? Might be Dante Diavonzo. What? Rain starting to fall once again. This time a little heavier. This is hit high in the air, right side, and calling everybody off and making the catch is a Malfi. Almost a collision there. A well needed out. Two away. Devin Ventura, the catcher, will step in. The catcher, number 22, Devin Ventura. Cole Glassburn did his job by backing up home plate. That's spring training stuff, pitchers fielding practice, PFP. And there's some rumbles of thunder. And they got metal cleats out there, so the umpires, metal cleats and metal bats. So they got to be careful. One strike of, one stroke of lightning, and they're head, heading to the dugout. Glassburn deals in there for a strike. I think that was a gift strike. I'm a homer, but I, I think that was outside. Rain becoming more and more heavy. Outside. No, they gotta they gotta put their hands and just call it. And the umpire has called time. We are heading into a rain delay here in the top of the sixth. A one to one score, and we will go to a rain delay. And that is certainly uh, yeah. not what you want. You wanted yeah. to at least get through that inning. But we are indeed in a rain delay here at Fino Field. Ashland won, Somerset won. So we'll just uh, we gotta, keep you, know, you on the sure live stream with some of the sights and sounds yeah. we got of a viewer. the rain delay. We got a viewer from Franklin. Ooh, Ooh. there's some lightning. Oh, that's scary. All Folks right. at home, don't worry. You're safe. You're in your cars, you're safe. That's right. The uh, field grounds crew. Not Tom Nappy alongside Larry Sacklad as we are set to continue on in the top of the sixth inning. It is a one to one ball game. How was your nap? All right. Oh, it was terrific. All right. Cole Glassburn is out there after about an hour and a half rain delay to <laughs> continue on. In this game, Devin Ventura is set to come up to the plate. Larry, how about Cole Glassburn going back out there after a long rain delay? I've seen him, what, the last couple of years playing high school, a couple of years Legion. He's got that rubber arm. He's got that thing. It's not normal, but he should be tight. But he does those 300-foot long toss sessions. Um, he should be good to go, and I heard he was uh, – Pleading his case to Coach Obed, like it's only been two hours since we stopped. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm ready what the heck? I'm, I'm ready. Ready to go. Yeah, the rain came at about 4 o'clock or so, and it is now 5.18, so about an hour, 20-minute rain delay. But post-77, all kidding aside, has to wake up, or they'll find themselves uh, golfing tomorrow. They certainly do. Devin Ventura stepping back up to the plate. A one-and-one one count. Over at first base, it's Will Tebow. Third base, Devin Machado. Cole Glassburn still out there. Four post 77. Two outs in the inning. Any relation to Manny Machado? I just asked you, Tom. It's just a question. Oh, so it's the Battle of the Coles. Cole Escobar and Cole Glassburn. We're going to fight it out. So here we go. We are set to continue on in state tournament play. Day three of the Senior Legion State Tournament. Cole Glassburn working from the stretch. Keep an eye on the runner at first base. See what he may do. He's going. He's taking off. No one's there to cover. Uh, excuse me. And they were hoping to draw the throw to send Machado. Two runs in scoring position now. Ventura steps back in. I think Somerset talked about that during the rain delay. I'm sure they did. Wind up in the pitch. There's a strike. One and two. 
He hasn't lost any of his velocity. Let's see if uh, the hitters might have tightened up with that long range. Anything's play. possible. Leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to center field. And it's caught by Brendan Grover. To the bottom of the six we go. We are knotted at one on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the sixth inning, a new pitcher for Somerset. David Ferreira is now in the game. Due up for post 77, 5, 6, and 7. Sean Jewett, Cole Glassburn, and Alex Amalfi. It's a one-to-one -one score here in the bottom of the sixth. There's a strike. Well, a couple of pop-up thunderstorms rolled through here at Fino Field. As this is hit in the air over to center field, Jewett heading to first, and the lead hitter is on for post 77. Now bring up Cole Glassburn. The pitcher, number two, Cole Glassburn. I don't know. Well, was it? It's been so long since uh, we've been off airs. He bunted his last time on for a base hit, correct? He did. And that was part of that triple play inning oh. that we don't really want to touch on. No, we don't. Well, it's going to be part of the highlight reel, whether you want it to be or not. It, it may go viral. I don't know. Pitch was up high. Ferreira from the stretch. Down low. Two and oh. I think he's going to take a strike. Got to show some patience. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Glassburn has hit pretty well in the state tournament. One for two today, one for three yesterday. One for three against Shrewsbury. Three for eight overall. Checking at first, runner back safe. Sort of a, I know you there move. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Two and two. Milford and Shrewsbury set to take the field next. It was sort of a blooper pitch that hung up there and it was so tempting, Cole had a hack at it. Ferreira deals. Swing and a miss, so number one. Got up and in on him. That'll bring up Alex Amalfi. And we're going to have a pinch hitter for Amalfi. So pinch hitter for Amalfi. And that is Ben Fink. Ben Fink into pinch hit for Amalfi. I like this move. Uh, I think you need a spark offensively, and this could be it. Just see how his uh, shoulder holds up. That's the concern I have. Outside. Ben Fink on the season is hitting a 214, 478 on base percentage. He's only played in seven games this year for post-77. He played some second base. Outside. Ferreira's pitch is tailing the outside corner of the plate. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Two and one. Drew Rankatori do up next. Ferreira deals, fouled into the backstop. He's got to protect the plate now. I don't know with that wet infield whether they'd be able to turn two 
on a ground ball hit to short or second may get slowed down. Ferreira deals down low. Full count. Jake Obed, uh, known for his aggressiveness, will he let uh, Sean Jewett loose? It's the first time we've seen Ben Fink during the state tournament. Down low, and he draws the walk. Jewett up to second, Fink to first, Drew Rancatori to the plate, one out. The first baseman, number four, Drew <laughs> Ferreira looks at second and deals. Swing and a miss. Drew's been struggling of late. He's 0 for 2 today. Reached on a force out and flew out. He's got that open stance. He'll get a good look at the pitch. There's a called strike. 0 and 2. Big lead for both runners, way outside. Yanked that one badly. If it wasn't for that triple play, uh, their left on base totals would be uh, <laughs> three higher than they were. Seems like they've lost, uh, left a lot of guys on base. Here's the one, two. Gets a piece of this one up the right side over to the second baseman, throw to the shortstop for one, now over to first. They double him up. 4-6-3 to wrap up inning number six. To the seventh we go. We're not at at one on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Top of the seventh inning, still not at at one. Here at Fino Field, Ashland left another two runners on base last inning. They have now left a total of 11 men on base. Not including the three that were erased by the triple play. Well, that is including that. Oh, okay. Actually, make that 12, including the three in the triple play. <sighs> Who wants it? Who wants it? Now discussion here with the Somerset coach and the umpire. Probably about a Malfi returning to second, I would imagine. Yeah, Malfi was pinch hit for and returned to the game to play second base, which in my understanding of the rules is legal. I don't know, we'll have an Angel Hernandez situation for 23 minutes or so. Well, they waited for one pitch to be thrown, so. It looks like the umpire is heading over to the rules consultant. A one and oh count on Ladera. I don't know what the illegal substitution rule is. I believe you could pinch hit for somebody once and they can re-enter. Well, look, I uh, guess not. Melfi's gonna have to come out. So Ben Fink is going to take over at second base. Do they give the hitter anything? I don't believe so. So Melfi had to come out due to the fact Ben Fink pinch hit for him. Ben Fink filled in nicely for Cole Glassburn a few weeks back. Here's the 1-0. In there for strike, one and one. Well, Cole Glassburn has pitched very well today. And post 77 certainly going to need him to continue 
his success on the mound. This is hit high in the air over to right center. Ranging to his left hand, making the catches. Brendan Grover, one away. That'll bring up Danny Silva, the DH. Well, the Milford Shrewsbury game was supposed to get underway at 5 o'clock. It's not, not happening. It's now 5.30. So they'll be playing substantially later. Lawrence and Sandwich will be playing well, way past their bedtime. A pitch outside. Both of those teams have a long ride. They certainly do. Wind up and the pitch. That's fouled away. One and one. Last burn deals inside. Two and one. This is an elimination game between post 77 and Somerset. The winner plays on. The loser is done for the season. This is up the right side of the infield. Throw to first. No problem. Four to three for out number two. That'll bring up Grady Lamar. Nicely done by Fink. The reincarnation of Robbie Alomar Jr. Oof. Grady Lamar, one for two today. Seems like the humidity almost got I know. a little worse. I like, you know, I was just going to mention that to you. Like, And that, that's tipped foul. What number is he in the order? Ninth hitter in the lineup. Second hit, second, uh, number two hitter. Ninth hitter, Larry. Ninth oh, hitter. sorry, sorry. Oh. Lineup and the pitch. Up the left side, over to Kavanaugh. Throw to first. Will pull Regatory off the bag, but he's able to land on the bag before Lamar is able to reach. And one, two, three, they go to the bottom of the seventh. We go on the Ashland Legion Baseball Network. Bottom of the seventh inning, 9-1 and 2 do up, 4 post 77. We are tied up at one apiece between Somerset post 228 and Ashland post 77. Nick Calabrese will step in. He is 1 for 2 today. David Ferreira out there for his second inning of work for Somerset. 77 haven't faced many lefties this year, predominantly right handed pitchers. Calabrese steps in, and we are ready to play on. There's a strike. Calabrese's been clutch this tournament. Gets a piece of this one, takes a couple hops, gloved by the second baseman, a little throw to first, no problem. Good hustle by Calabrese, didn't dog it down the line. Kevin Balowitz will step in. You're right, it did get more humid. Well, quite a difference from <laughs> two years ago when Post 77 met up with Somerset. Yeah, but we were out of here in five innings. That's right. Balowitz is one for three. Outside. Temperature dropped seven degrees but I'm sure the humidity is in the 70s. Oppressive. Gets a piece of this one up the left side, gloved by the third baseman. Throw to first is high, and it'll get away. Balowitz is going to head over to second base, and he is going to be safe. An errant throw from the third baseman. Oh. And post 77 has a runner in scoring position. That was a postal delivery by airmail. I'll bring up Brendan Grover, the center fielder. Wow. Well, the uh, game winning run at second base with one out. Center fielder, number 14, They've left 12 Grover. guys on base. Will they put uh, Grover on? Big lead for Balowitz. He does have speed. There's a strike. Jackson Hornung do up next. I thought they might, well, 
They get the three hitter behind him. Do they want to give him a free pass and face Hornung? Put a force play on? And this is up the middle. Glove by the shorts. A bobbled by the shorts. I'm throwing a first. And they just got him. Two outs. Valowitz up to third. 90 feet away is the winning run. Well, a hit here. Wins the game. And we'll be right back at it tomorrow. Yep. Hornung two for three today. Wouldn't it be just fabulous if he just laid down a bunt? <laughs> well, that could work out either. The, the third baseman is playing so deep. Could the work, infield is so deep. Could work out very well or could be a disaster. And he's got legs. Inside. I don't know why I'm whispering when I say that, but a sneak attack bunt. The 1 0. Held his swing, one and one. He's waiting for the perfect pitch. That's exactly right. That pitch was not in his hitting zone, even though it was a strike. He's wait, w waiting, <laughs> waiting for his meatball. He'll swing at this one, right back up the middle, and here comes the winning run. Post 77 lives to see another day of the state tournament. Kevin Balowitz scores the winning run, an RBI base hit for Jackson Hornung. And it's a walk-off win for Ashland post 77 over Somerset. Two to one is your final score. What a way to end this game, Larry. Oh, absolutely. Oh, well, it was all worth the wait, Tom. It's, we lost a few pounds, but that's we could use that. That's right. It certainly was worth the wait. I'll speak for myself. I probably lost 10. And can you think of anybody better than Jackson Hornung to get the job done? Unbelievable. Uh, well, that's why he was the Tri-Valley small MVP, three sports. Heading to Skidmore. His coaches are going to love him. Well, Mr. Clutch does it again. Ashland post-77 defeats Somerset by a final score of 2-1. to one. They will either play at 5 p.m. or in the 7.30 time frame tomorrow against an opponent. To be determined, we will keep you updated via Twitter, social media, and the HCAM website. For Cameron Tabo on camera, my broadcast partner Larry Sacklad. I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time, post-77 lives to see another day of the Massachusetts Senior Legion State Tournament as they take down Somerset 2-1. to one. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.